Hi there, w welcome to uh, Figma Friday episode number one. My name is Taurus. Uh, I also go by the alias Visual Spicer. Uh, I'll be a host on these educational video series. And in this first video, uh, really what I wanted to do is kind of give you a general overview of uh, this really amazing design tool called Figma, which I've been using for the ca uh, past couple of years. And I wanted to give you a quick overview of why I think uh, it's such an amazing tool, which I believe will be the industry standard. Um, so to learn, to get started with Figma, uh, head over to figma.com uh, to go to their website. Uh, and essentially what Figma is, um, is it's a uh, cloud-based real-time collaboration design tool, uh, which works entirely in the web browser because it's built using WebGL. Uh, and Figma can be used for all sorts of different things um, uh, as far as uh, user interface design. I personally use it for uh, a lot of my print projects. Um, you can also do, um, let's see, a lot of vector drawings uh, and typography and color styling with a lot of the tools that are included in the tool. Uh, and you can do things like interactive prototypes for your um, mobile apps uh, or desktop apps. Um, there's also uh, Figma is built around uh, design systems for uh, teams. Um, so there's a, a, a quite a big uh, aspect to it that is built around uh, component libraries and um, shared uh, components that designers uh, or collaborators can use across their uh, working files. Um, Figma was uh, developed uh, originally in 2012, 2013 by these two gentlemen. Uh, this is Evan and Dylan, um, who started uh, working on Figma as, uh, I guess, a startup uh, business project right after they graduated from uh, college. I actually had the opportunity to meet Dylan at work uh, about a year and a half ago when he was doing a presentation there. Uh, but they worked on Figma for a couple of years, launched it to uh, the, the general public around 2015, uh, and now uh, it's becoming very widely adapted across uh, many different uh, businesses and organizations, and I personally have been using it um, as my number one tool uh, for the past couple of years for my day job and my uh, personal side projects. Um, so what I'll do really quick is demonstrate, uh, so this is the, uh, the Figma desktop app, uh, and it's basically um, just the wrapper for uh, the, the Figma app, which is entirely browser-based. Um, so what I'll demonstrate here is uh, the, uh, the real-time collaboration aspect of Figma. Uh, if I... Uh, so basically with Figma, let me log into my personal account really quick. Uh, with Figma, um, Figma is uh, platform agnostic, uh, meaning that uh, as long as you have access to a web browser and an internet connection, uh, you can log into your Figma account and you can basically get access to all of your files which live on the cloud. Uh, and you can continue working on your designs. Uh, so here on the left, let me hide my webcam. Uh, so here on the, on the left, I have my Figma desktop app with um, all of my files. Uh, and then here on the right, I have the exact same thing in uh, my Chrome web browser. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll jump into my Figma Friday file uh, to demonstrate the uh, the real-time collaboration aspect uh, of this of this software. So opening up the, the same file, here we go, in the web browser on the right. So if you see, I'm interacting with my document uh, on the right side, and in the app, I'm seeing my uh, cursor in real time moving around. And then if I jump over to the desktop app, there's another version of me that is visible uh, in the web browser. And what I can do, if you imagine a scenario where multiple uh, collaborators are working in the same file, uh, 
in either the, the desktop or the browser, I can move things around like this. And then the other person uh, also in the desktop app or the browser can make uh, modifications to the design uh, on their end. And then each person sees the interactivity happening in real time. So that, that's one of the most amazing things about Figma, especially if you're working uh, in a large organization with uh, many, many designers. Um, uh, everyone knows what's happening at all times in real time. Uh, and one other thing that I'd like to show you uh, about Figma is um, uh, this website called uxtools.co. Uh, this website is managed by a designer named Taylor. Uh, I've been uh, coming over here for the past several years, and what Taylor does is uh, he uh, surveys uh, designers uh, from all over the world um, about their design tooling and uh, workflows that they use. Um, so here we have uh, the, the results for the 2020 design survey, and I actually contributed to this one and the 2019 survey. But if we jump to uh, last year's survey and look at some of the results, uh, Taylor has uh, surveyed 4,100 designers from all across the world. And uh, if we go through here, uh, which software do you use for brainstorming and ideation? So Figma comes in at number two on this one. But if we keep, keep scrolling down, which software do you use for user flows and sitemaps? Figma is number one. Um, then the next category, software you use for interface design. Figma is number one here, followed by Sketch, which sort of used to be the industry standard uh, tool for this type of work, followed by Adobe XD, which entered uh, this uh, area of um, design tools several years back. Uh, next category, software for UI prototyping. Figma is number one uh, with a significant lead there. Uh, software used for developer handoff. Again, Figma is number one. Uh, I'll post a link to this um, site in the video description so you can look at it more in detail. Uh, but if I scroll down to this last section here, uh, the 2020 Designers Toolkit for brainstorming, uh, Figma comes in at number two. But then if you look, look at these next few categories for user flows, Figma is used as the number one tool. Uh, UI design, again, Figma number one, prototyping, Figma, handoff, Figma, design systems, Figma, versioning, uh, version control, Figma. Uh, so Figma, uh, it's the way they've designed it, it, it covers uh, a lot of these different, different areas of design. Um, and some of these aspects of the software I will get into a little bit more detailed uh, in future videos. Uh, and this one here is my favorite. Which tools are you most excited to try in 2021? And Figma is by far in the lead. Designers and people who are learning design, trying to get into design tooling, are super excited about this tool. Um, and out of the 18 years that uh, I've been doing design professionally, uh, this has by far been my most favorite uh, tool that I've had in my in my toolbox for creating uh, digital media and, and design in general. Uh, so in this series, um, I will get into uh, some of the more detailed features of Figma uh, that hopefully all of you can learn from. Uh, and uh, please drop comments and let me know what types of areas of Figma that you're curious to, uh, to uh, learn about. But uh, that's it for this video, just a general overview of what Figma is, and I thank you very, very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.